Hello, I'm Jim Lampley. Manny Pacquiao's status as the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in boxing may be open to intelligent dispute. But what's hardly worth arguing about is his identity as the most exciting fighter in the sport. From his beginning at 106 pounds to his ultimate destiny fighting Oscar De La Hoya as a welterweight, Pacquiao delivers one violent confrontation after another, en route to becoming the most famous Asian fighter in the history of the sport. Here now, the Filipino southpaw slugger, Manny Pacquiao's greatest hits. November 2003, eager for a big challenge, Pacquiao clashed with pound-for-pound -pound superstar Marco Antonio Barrera. Hard left hand, straight on the button by Pacquiao, down goes Barrera. Barrera getting three chances to counter with the left hook, but taking a lot of leather to do it. Barrera's left eye is now starting to swell badly. With explosive presence, Pacquiao silenced the skeptics. Marco Antonio Barrera taking by far the worst physical beating of his career. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. Barrera's corner man is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. That's a good decision. Finally, a superstar emerges in San Antonio. May 2004. A few months later, Pacquiao faced Mexican boxer puncher Juan Manuel Marquez. In the first round, the Pac-Man, with furious intent, dropped Marquez three times. Juan Manuel Marquez hasn't ever seen anything like that. Who has? But in a tremendous display of resiliency, Marquez continued on. Hard right hand stuns Pacquiao. Pacquiao once again wants to fight fire with fire. Marquez pops him with the right again. This was called by many the fight of the year. Both warriors battled through withering assaults and vicious attacks. Both have the hearts of champions. A hellacious night would end with a disappointing and controversial draw. March 2005. The Filipino phenomenon would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mexico's legendary Eric Morales in what would begin an epic trilogy. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Pacquiao and Morales exhibited boxing mastery. What incredible competitors both of these guys are. And the blinding speed of Pacquiao's apparent, and Morales chases him across the ring and says, let's fight. Morales won by unanimous decision. Do you want a rematch? Anytime, um, anywhere. January 2006. For a frenzied Las Vegas crowd, Pacquiao sought redemption. This time, the Filipino fighter wasted no time in dismantling Morales. The war is on! Round by round, Pacquiao attacked and attacked. A visibly worn down and beaten Morales totally exhausted. faced the inevitable in the late rounds. With blistering jabs and hooks and hard straight left hands, that's the first real knockdown of Eric Morales' career. Pacquiao seized the moment. Morales could not repeat his past success against Pacquiao, losing his fourth fight as a pro and setting the stage for a new trilogy. Ten months after Pacquiao evened the score with Morales, they faced off again in the highly anticipated rubber match. And right from the opening bell, Pacquiao made a statement about his intentions. Morales, who landed some good right hands in the first fight, tried to drive Pacquiao back with right hands there, but Manny comes back with a torrent of punches from his own. Now Pacquiao lands a right and a left. And another right hook. Down goes Morales on a Pacquiao right hand. The brave Mexican warrior tried to stand toe to toe, but was no match for the younger, stronger, faster Filipino star. Morales chases him and lands a right. They trade punches at the rope. And when they trade punches, Morales takes a gamble with Pacquiao's strength and power. And down he goes! It's hard to imagine how Morales can last long against this. What guts by Morales! He strafes Pacquiao with right hands, even while on unsteady feet. Pacquiao continued his relentless assault, putting an exclamation point on the latest epic trilogy. Another huge left hand by Pacquiao. Punch after punch after punch. And he wants to finish Morales right here. And the brave heart of Morales holds up, but his legs go again. Third knockdown of the fight by Pacquiao against Morales. He doesn't run and get up. Morales shakes his head as if to say, I want no more. October 2007. Four years after Pacquiao had systematically broken down Marco Antonio Barrera, 
the two met again, and it was clear from the beginning the rematch would be much more competitive. Big left hand for Pacquiao. Barrera lands the left in return. Hard right hand over the top. Barrera stunned Pacquiao with that shot. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. And Barrera decides to fight back immediately. And now suddenly they trade, and Marco catches Pacquiao with a big right hand. And a left hand. And Pacquiao momentarily stunned and comes back with the aggression of his own. And that's what the crowd has been waiting for. The fight turned more physical, less tactical. And although courageous, Barrera once again took the brunt of the punishment. Barrera trying to pick his spots upstairs, gets rocked with a right hand, gets backed into a corner, gets caught with another combination, gets rocked with body shots. This is what made Manny Pacquiao the most explosive and exciting fighter in boxing. Lands a solid right hook, lands a straight left hand. Faster hands carrying the day again. Pacquiao cruised to the unanimous decision victory. March 2008, Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez finally got together for a rematch four years in the making. Marquez came out fighting with great confidence. Hard right hand by Marquez. Uppercut by Marquez, huge left hook, buckled Pacquiao. But in round three, Pacquiao responded in vintage fashion. Down goes Marquez on a straight left hand shot. Perfect shot by Pacquiao. Both fighters were cut in the middle rounds as the fight's intensity hit a fever pitch. Pacquiao landed a quick right hook, momentarily lifted Marquez off his front foot. Another left hand for Pacquiao. There's a perfect combination by Marquez. They trade shots. What a war. Both men trying desperately to win the round. In round 10, Pacquiao's power once again left its mark. This all started with a brilliant Pacquiao left hand, which looked for a moment as though it was going to knock Marquez down. Marquez continued to show the same warrior mentality he had shown in the first meeting as the two legends brawled toward the finish. Marquez going out on his field if he's losing and showing you all the heart that you might expect from a great, proud Mexican fighter. What guts both fighters have shown tonight. One more right hand for Marquez. One more combination for Pacquiao. They trade shots down the stretch. In another classic battle, Pacquiao escaped with the split decision victory. The third round knockdown proving to be the scoring difference. June 2008, in his first fight at 135 pounds, Pacquiao met David Diaz for Diaz's lightweight title belt. Pacquiao's remarkable hand speed was on display early and often. Uppercut by Pacquiao. Mixing his punches brilliantly. Catches Diaz with a left hand. The speed and skill of Manny Pacquiao is amazing to behold. A southpaw Jack Dempsey in the lightweight division with speed and power beyond compare. The courageous Diaz kept coming forward and Manny's accurate punches continued to connect. Perfect shot by Pacquiao. And the Pacquiao storm once again continues. Bloody mask speaks for itself. He's got his punches, he's just too fast. A nearly flawless Pacquiao performance came to an end in round nine. Increasingly on the defensive, Diaz has less and less to offer. How many more? Down he goes, and Dracula stops the fight. To see more of Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, tune in to HBO Sports.